What we might try doing is going around and fixing more of the different terraforming planets so that hopefully, like, the Diva Betty will calm down. I would love to have the Diva Betty be our friends again. We're trying so hard to keep those guys our friends, and sometimes they're so cranky. Alright, charge up. I'm going to learn how to speak Fennel by the time this is all said and done. Alright, now let's see. Who is not on this planet yet? Among our new little arrivals, the little drag boos, the little dragons are not on the planet yet, so we'll add them. I think they're pretty darn cool. And then we also have... Oh, the Minotaurs. Yes, we'll give them nice open grassy plains to roam free in. I think that'll help them quite a bit. And the little loopies. We'll put them over here. Oh, they're so cute. There you go, little one. I don't really want the Brewsters on here. They're not one I'm that fascinated with. So let's see. Who do we need? We've got Carnivore, Herbivore. Then we've got lots of plants. I probably should jettison a few of these plants because we do need to have a little bit of room oh but they're just so cute Let's see so we've got herbivore 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 so that is four herbivores one carnivore so we need more carnivores if we are going to finish up our project that we are working on oh there's so many herbivores there we go a little drag boos Where are you guys? Where are you guys? You're right here. I'm gonna have to pick you right back up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> My apologies. Uh, but thankfully your nest is still there and you laid some eggs, so it will be okay. We're gonna go get some avers. Always excited to find more avers on every planet. I really would love to make them into one of the civilizations that will try to make our galactic allies. I mean, and what would you call that when you know that you helped that civilization come to the space age? I wonder what you would consider that. Like, are you their parent or something? Hmm. That's a very interesting philosophy that we'll have to examine more as we continue. Expanding, exploring, because we've barely touched anything. Look at that. We have barely, barely stuck our nose out into the... I mean, look. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're going to be fine. The Finna are going to figure out how to really move Groove and take over quite a bit of land. Also, we might use that as a secondary... Oh, no more room for spice. Whoops. Ah, oh, sweet! Green spice selling for a lot right there. I'm gonna take, take this little spice off your hands. There we go, goodbye. But, so our other pink spice planet next to our home planet actually has a planet we could use as another wildlife reserve so we'll have to remember that because we're starting to run out of space on our current wildlife reserve oh my gosh 22 blue spice rolling in the blue spice oh my goodness gracious oh and he's buying that's not a bad price on purple space all right so where are we we are finishing up taming this angry very overheated planet and it's looking so much better even though we have just been attending to it for a little while. So let's see what we can do. Cooling it off a bit more. And then adding some more clouds. It doesn't need much to push it to the next level, I think. Oh, look at this little river! <gasps> the little river! Come on, I see you! There you are! You can do it, little river! Go, 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 go! Also, cool off a little bit. Go, 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 go! There we go. Alright, and then let's come over here. Put this one down, and this one down. And we need another grass. This one. All the red grasses. There we go. Alright, and then we need to put little critters down. So, let us add the minotaurs as herbivores. They are not very little, but they will do. The bruisers, just to sneak them out. And the avers as our omnivores. Oh, he ate the Minotaur. Whoops. I really have to remember to put those guys further away when they go down on the planet. I'm, I'm sure he laid some eggs. It'll be okay. Alright, let's cool the planet off a little bit more, which is helping encourage the plant growth. And then we need just a little bit more of cloud cover. We're getting there. We're really close. I'm pretty sure if we spend a little bit of time working with the Diva Buddy... Come on, a little bit more. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. 
There we go. I'm pretty sure if we spend a little bit more time working with the Diva Buddy to try to get their planets in line, then maybe it'll calm down and not be so cranky pants at us. <gasps> it's gonna be green! Oh, that's always like the extra cherry on top when we start terraforming planets is when I find out that it is going to be a green planet. And we'll put down the little loompies in this giant beautiful green field and it can run free and happy and and frolic about or just sit there like a little lump that it is maybe it pretends to be a rock and that's how it gets by in life all right then we will check so we've got a carnivore i need one more herbivore to finish off this planet man that's nice all right let's grab the herbivore from this one Still a very interestingly shaped, interestingly colored planet. All right, who do I who do I not have? Let's see. Uh, the squawkies, those guys. I already put the crystallines down. I thought, but we'll pick a few more up just in case. Hello. Yes, very sorry to bother you. I just kind of have to do a quick sweep. Day, did, did I get somebody? Did I? Okay, there's a few more of you. I'm so sorry. It's nothing personal. Gotcha. Oh, there's another one. There's another. I will admit, I think it's a little bit fun collecting the animals when we when we go by every planet because you, you have to actually work at it. You have to really squint and try to figure out where they're hiding. All right, so now we've got that planet almost finished, our T3 almost finished, and then we're almost done taking care of this system. Alright, what's going on in here? Now we just need another herbivore. No, we need another herbivore. Oh, I did put the crystallines here. Dang it. Do we have an extra herbivore? Oh man! I thought we were so close. That's what happens when you try to collect herbivores from within systems. Sometimes you've cross-pollinated those guys. 17 blue spice! Oh my gosh, you guys! We're maxed out on blue spice! We can no longer accept any more blue spice! Let's go sell this puppy. Let's sell it to, the, to these angry people. That's fine. I'm ignoring your demands, actually, so uh, you can deal with it. Because we've already ignored your demands so much. Oh, there's more treasure here? This is just the awesome gear planet that keeps on giving. I wonder if this is like the moon that we have. That we keep just putting down all of our treasure on the moon. I wonder if this is their version of that. Their like treasure storage planet. And we just keep showing up and taking all of it. It's another cool awesome new painting thing! <gasps> we can make flowers and cute mountains, but I really want to add gears. Let's see. I want another gear C right there. This is our artistic gear planet. And I want the rivers like this. Ooh, I forgot you could aim the rivers. Wow. That's too cool. It looks like a little spine. Like a little zipper spine that we put down it. Alright, so let's snag a nice little a nice little uh you're just gonna pop over here. I'm ignoring you guys. And snag a little herbivore from this little planet that they're on. Shouldn't be too hard, not much here. Whoops, there we go. Alright, where are they? Oh there they are! <gasps> little slugs! Yeah, the gum! Oh, I wonder if we have those guys. They're new. Because we just got their Sporpedia. We're going to add these ones to our adorable little wildlife reserve for sure. Oh my gosh. I love the slugs. And in fact, we really need to make sure that we specifically try to collect slugs. Maybe even have a special place to put those slugs. Whoops, I didn't want to come over here. Sorry, I'm coming back in a little bit. Salutations. I need to recharge. Thank you. Because we are the flying space slugs, so maybe one specifically the species and creatures we should look to raise to space stage should be other slug species because that would be amazing. All right, I think we've got it. I think we're good. We'll put down the little slug. Don't eat them, Leafles. Run for it, little slug. Run for it. Look, the mon the mon no, don't fight. The Minotaur and the slug are fighting, and the slug won. 
That is amazing. The Victorian slug! Clearly this is a species that we must raise to the space stage. They are so on the list now. Oh my gosh, the little gom. Oh, they're so cute. All right, well, let's add the little dragon dudes. Um, we'll put them over here. And now we have stabilized this planet too. Fantastic. Oh, wonderful. It feels so good because it's a lot of work to transform this many planets, but it is necessary. Let's unload this this uh, blue spice real fast because I feel like we're just sitting on all this money and we're not doing anything with it. And then we'll see if there's any purple spice to pick up. All right, how you doing? Doing good. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, you want red spice. That's unusual. People are really into red spice lately for some reason. Anyone want blue? Please. Of course you wouldn't want blue. You're a home planet. You never want anything useful, home planet. This is like, why do you think I don't visit you, home planet? It's because you never you never want to help out. You're not a team player, home planet. All right, we're going to come over here. And we're going to put the little slugs down. Oh, look at it. It's a perfect little environment for slugs. Next to the water. With all this, this beautiful trees and bushes and grass. And look at them. Oh, they're so prolific. We will definitely put those guys down somewhere. As another species that we will add to the space stage. And they can be our allies. And we can be slugs that take over the galaxy together. It'll be wonderful. I think we have one other species of slug on this planet too. So that'll be fun. Alright, we seriously need to figure out a place to dump this blue spice. Like, what's the point of having so much money if we can't... Like, so much spice if we can't turn it into money. Ugh. Alright, there's the pink spice. Uh-huh. Doing good. You want the green spice? That's great! Somebody let me flood the market with this blue spice! Oh, so sad. Oh, so much purple spice, yes! Thank you for receiving me. How are you doing? Well, it's great. You want the pink spice for good price. You want the red spice. Still still holding on to the blue spice. All right. Well, why don't we visit our sciencey friends? Let's let's see. Let's see what some of our allies have to say. Chibi Empire. I'm sure you guys want to throw a party with all this blue spice. Eh. Well, if we sold 99 pieces of it. I mean, that's not terrible. Close to an offer. I'll be back. I'll be back. Don't you worry. Just gonna check on uh, the ducklands. Ducklands, please. Give me like 50k a piece for the blue spice or something big like that. No. Well, drop bucket. Alright, well, while we're here, gonna get a few of these. I need a new uber turret. Yep, you're very excited. You don't sell the mon- Oh, there they are. I was like, I could have sworn you sold monoliths. We're gonna grab a few of those from you. I need a few more energy packs, because I'm always terraforming things left and right. Um... Grab an Uber turret? I think I can get them cheaper from another ally. Huh. Well, maybe our pink spice planet will be more accommodating. Or maybe these guys will. They're, they're usually pretty awesome. And even if they do have Grox invasion problems- Oh, hey! There's something hiding on this planet. You should see what's going on. Oh, they only want 5k for the blue spice too. I guess we should go back to the chibis and, and say, So, you still want to offer up that million? Because maybe they'll be willing to still give us the million. Oh good, this is just a decorative item, so we can take it from our, our good friends here. What the heck is all that down there? Cute mesas, nice. Oh my gosh, this is the most colorful plant I have ever seen. I swear, I think new plants- Oh, and I'm out of room and there's new plants. I think the Galactic Adventures actually added a ton of new plants because I promise you, I pay attention to the plants in Spore. Not that that should surprise anyone. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on over here. Yep, I'm out of room. I know. I'm trying to unload some stuff. Anyone- Anyone want to take some of this blue spice for me? Wait, didn't I sell that? Hey, hey, don't back out of this trade. That's better. Alright, can I collect green spice now? I can! Look at all that! Alright, I'm sure you guys want to party with blue spice, right? Right? That's better. See, even though it's just a little a little bit more, that's like 200,000 more. There. Yeah, you guys should be happy. You just got a ton of blue spice. You're going to be rolling in that for ages. What? 
We're being we're being attacked by pirates somewhere. Okay, we're gonna have to go investigate that and make sure that it's not a planet that doesn't have an Uber turret. Ooh, green spice, eh. Not a terrible price. I need room for trees. <laughs> the one mod I am thinking about seriously trying to figure out how to put in the game is actually to add more cargo space because we are traveling through space. Where are the pirates? Oh, fudge! They have an uber turret, so they'll be okay. That is our purple spice colony out in the boondocks, our boondock purple spice colony. So they're, they're just kind of stuck there for now. All right, blue spice. Thank you very much. Thank you, whoops. Uh, no, I don't want any emissions, I'm good. <gasps> That's more like it, there we go. That's what I like to see being able to sell the pink spice for. All right, so how are we doing? We have all the planets here transformed to T3, except for this little one right here. So let's dive down. Oh, it's like, it's like our, it's, oh, it, it's so pretty. It's just like our moon. Oh my gosh. Oh, but it definitely has spice. So we are going to, no, none of you go away. I'm not paying attention to any of you. Diva buddies, I will go and help you terraform some stuff, but you really need to be more polite. All right, unfortunately we have to suck up some of the water. I love planets that are shaped like this. Oh, if it wasn't for completion, I would just leave it alone. But we do have our moon, which is shaped just like this beautiful water dice. Very, very cool. It'll make for a super unique planet to live on. I imagine a lot of water skiing, a lot of diving. Maybe they will be pearl. Oh, Terrangular 5 badge. Hot cloud cedar and air conditioning. We can buy new things. How exciting. But yeah, I imagine a lot of pearl diving. Wow, that's a lot of plant all of a sudden in my face. That's so cool. I love it. Put that there. We take the stabilize the peace corps. Okay, we take the monitors. Not a lot of room, little uh, monitors. I'm very sorry. Good luck. Plundered by pirates. Stolen spice. We have an uber turret over there, don't we? Oh, I'll have to double check on those guys. I'm worried for them. All right, there we go. Whoops, Daisy. Nice, nice. Okay, doing good. Well, let's just uh, ooh, let's get the really fancy, pretty flowers down. Oh, nice. A few of those stabilized again. Do I have more more animals I can add? The little movies. The gom for sure. Very cool. And then the lethals as carnivores. Oh wow, those gom are aggressive. Oh, we can get the super sizer now. For filling up 50 or 40 ecosystems. That's fantastic. Look at how wonderful this is turning out. It's such a cute planet. Hopefully adding colonies won't distort it too much. Alright, just needs to be a little bit warmer, huh? Or excuse me, drier. Just a little bit more. Come on down. Come on up, water. Come on up. But yeah, I can see our finna pearl diving and coral reef like exploring and doing all sorts of fun water related things here. Alright, let me chop this up. Come here, chop this. Ah, da, da, da. What? What, is, what? 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 Okay, we're gonna have to go investigate that because apparently something's getting destroyed. Uh, crystalline. Mm, cute little crystallines. Anybody else? Uh, I need one more herbivore. Wait, 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 that's an herbivore. The loopies. There we go. Oh, the crystalline stick their little their little crystals out. Oh, there we go. We did it! We did it, you guys! <gasps> Yay! Oh, that's fantastic! Okay, so for every one of these plants, they're all T3 now. And there's something raiding slash attacking slash something bad bad's going on over here. Unknown assailant being attacked. Oh, hey now! This is not good. This is one of my favorite planets. Okay. Which one? Which one? Uh, 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 the Stranger Civilization. Grumel? 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 This one! Oh, they don't have an uber turret. Alright. Are these our neighbors? Being naughty? Oh, nope. It's just straight up pirates. We've got this. Boom, boom, boom. You guys came to the wrong place. You have no idea. Alright, we'll come over here. Oh yeah? 
Oh yeah? I've got high-tech weapons. Take that. Is it all over? Are we good? I think we're good. I'm oh, I'm still hearing the do 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 do. Is it over here? There's a crisis down here? Oh, 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 I see him now. There we go. 